Seems like starting vlogs in the car park is what I'm doing recently. I'm wearing swimming trunks. I've got my GoPro. It's because we're going to a water park today. Still got the AMG. GTS. My hands are so full, I can barely hold anything. This is what I've been doing. I don't know if it makes it any louder. But I put the ignition on, put it in race mode, and then start it. Lovely. We are coming on to what's known as the Palm. I'm sure you guys know the Palm. It's the island, the massive man-made island in the shape of a palm that Dubai has randomly come up with the idea of building. Prove to me how much more convenient, practical this car is than other supercars. Pure ground clearance is so good that you don't even have a lift and you get over speed rubs, absolutely no problem. Massive boots, great sound system, good air conditioning. That was very practical for a supercar. This right here is my, uh, is my setup when I'm driving. I've got it in race mode usually with the manual gear selection through the paddles right here. I've then got the exhaust on loud, but the suspension on comfort. That means it sounds good, I'm on the manual paddles. It'll give me a bit of slip, but not too much, which is always convenient. But the suspension is still very compliant. That's what I've kind of tweaked to being my ideal sort of daily setup, I guess. Now I need to find the Atlantis Hotel where this water park is. Yeah. Get those angles. <laughs> Paul's here, Alex is here. Hey. We are about to hit up the water park, Atlantis of the Palm. So we came here how long ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago we came here with Sam and Tim. And it was that that was probably one of the most fun videos I've ever made. And so today we are back. The size of these hotels, this is one of the is this the biggest hotel? It must be one of them, but look, there's restaurants, shops, it's insane. And a water park in the backyard. An aquarium. an aquarium. Oh yeah, they have the, isn't it the world's biggest aquarium for that, not just any aquarium. I think it is, I think it is, and you can you see it. In oh yes, that's a big one too. Paul is so cute for this. You remember the way, you know exactly where we are. I have no clue. He got out of the taxi, like, <laughs> basically ran. He went through it, didn't even look like I know. Did you bring any sun cream? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. I thought that if Sam wasn't here, the chances were a bit lower. Because he's usually packed full of sun cream. Searching all the worlds for one thing. Done with the water park. Now, what are we doing? Food. Are oh, you guys gonna take the roof off? Can't you? Yeah. Oh no. But I've got a glass roof, so that it's all good. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. It is very nice. This spec. I like the steering wheel with the red sort of inside there. You know what I find cool. with manufacturers? Is, is this like fake carbon or real carbon? What is that? It costs three hundred grand. I'd be surprised if it's fake. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, this is cool. The black. Yeah, um, black spirit of ecstasy. See, this is what I love about manufacturers. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know when you get like the Aventador and then yeah. every aftermarket company did the body kit Yeah. and then a Lamborghini brought out the SV and you're like, that looks the best. Yeah. Everyone had Rolls Royce and then was like blacking out the bag, like wrapping it and stuff. And they did and it. And then they did it and it just looks the best. Yeah. Because it's not blacked out, it's kind of slightly aluminium as well. So it's a really nice finish. Yeah. It's not quite black. Right. Nando's? Two Nando's. Two Nando's. Oh, that is just cool. This is so surreal. Cruising with Paul in front. Last time we were here, we were in a Cadillac and Ubers. This time, I don't know how we managed to wiggle our way into a Rolls Royce Dawn black badge and an AMG GTS. This is a pretty cool feeling. Look at these boys. Roof down, two English guys and a Rolls Royce. They're gonna be about as red as that car in five minutes. 
I have no idea where Paul is bringing me. Apparently we're going to Nando's, but my sat nav says that we've passed it about three times over. Tell you what, I do love Alcantara steering wheels, but already, this one's only got about 2,000 kilometers, this guy. It's already starting to get worn, which is the downside. Oh, look, there goes Paul, putting his roof back up. Also, Burmeister sound system, essential for a car. Well, actually, I don't know what the normal one's like, but this one is very good. I'm not sure if I'd rev the car yet for you guys. In race mode, exhaust is open. Those pops are pretty special. It's very bright right now, but that should hopefully mean that the lighting's good. Look at this, we've come to the marina. It's absolutely beautiful here. It's an insane building. I mean, look at that building right there. Twisted, I don't know how much of a architectural nightmare that must have been, but it is just awesome. And this has got to be the coolest Nando's. Look at this, I've ever been to. This view from a Nando's, the first, what was it? You know, I think the first Nando's I ever went to was with you. Yeah, what, Watford? Yeah. Classic Watford High Classic Street. Watford. Now look at this. We're back here. Beautiful view. I have not been to a Nando's with this much of a good view. It's insane. Well, the food was slightly better than the one in, Oxf in Watford, though. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. But I always have a, pro a problem when you eat in such heat coming down. Yeah. It doesn't actually get time to cool down. Yes, that is true. But that when you're true. looking at a view like this, you can't complain. I mean, it is insane. Four in Andos and the cars we came in. Yeah. I mean, when we went to the one in Watford, we were talking about this earlier, um, it was in this sort of sketchy-ish area. Well, just all of the shops are like boarded up and then you've got a subway opposite the Nando's. So it is, it's not a great or glamorous location like the Dubai Marina is. I mean, look at this. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we went in my Audi A1. Yeah. Which is a beast. Yeah. But I had a proper pinch myself moment yesterday when our two cars that we've been given so yeah. kindly yeah. are next to each other. We're like, we've got to dinner in cars that are these. I know, it's ridiculous. We used to be going to dinner, yeah, Twizy or A1. That was how we well, used to No, 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 dinner. I'll still take the Twizy in Monaco. Yes, I'll yeah, 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 yeah. that is true. But yeah, it's been this whole trip in general, from being on boats, watching the F1, driving some of those ridiculous cars. I mean, it's I really been, as you say, a pinch me type experience. This is the end of November. And I'm still wearing sunglasses. And shorts. Yeah, and shorts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just don't really quite. I don't know. Like I sometimes just sit back and think, like, "What's going on?" Yeah. No, it's insane. It's been it's been unbelievable. Get them angles, bro. Here at the six, which is part of the Gargash Group, drop the AMG GT off, and now, thank you, sir. I'm getting into this leather carpeted Rolls Royce Dawn. I mean, leather carpets is just not really a great idea, is it? You were good for room? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, 100%. Uh, can you bring me to Casino Square Monaco, please? <laughs> Look at that. It's got a Mansory kit on it. Mansory Tron Aventador. Not bad, eh? Same. And the roof comes off to reveal that Aziz hey, is joining hey, us. Good, Here he is. Good, good, Look, so you can do it on the move. How fast can you go? I don't know. Good, good, good chat, guys. Good go, chat. Google it. I don't know. Google it. Okay. <laughs> exactly. That's the answer.